What's going on everyone? Garnet Walters here, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to accelerate your musicality in 2019. But before I get into the video, I'd like to give everyone who subscribed a special shout out. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button and press the bell so you know when a new video comes out. Um, it's been a great uh, 2018, and I'm really looking forward to 2019. There's going to be more things in the stores, more music, some more tips, and more... Uh, uh, Things from you guys um, I really appreciate all your input as well so let's get into the video so here are some tips to help accelerate your musicality in 2019 now this is in no particular order because all of these tips are very important the first tip is to practice slowly with a metronome this is very important because if you can't play what you're learning slowly there's no way you're gonna be able to play quickly when you try and play quickly you can tense up the execution definitely won't be there because you're going to be fudging through notes and stuff. So it's better that you practice it slowly at a manageable tempo so that you can learn it and you can absorb whatever line or whatever chord progression you want to learn. Then once you practice it slowly, you increase the tempo little by little until you get to the tempo that you want it to. The next tip is to use a metronome. Now I know I mentioned using a metronome and practicing slowly in the first tip. But it's important that using a metronome is, is stressed here because using a metronome will help to show if there are any uh, rhythmic problems in terms of execution, how you're playing it. Because um, when you want to do something like a... Now, it may sound clean without it, but when you use a metronome, it'll show if it's accurate or not. So right now I have it at 107. Now I made a mistake there. So what I would do is I will slow it down. So I had it at 107. I'll bring it to 75. Just so I can clean it up. So that's at 75. And then I'm gonna bring it up to 85. All right, and then after playing that a while, I'm gonna bring it up to 95. Now I'm gonna bring it up to 105. Now I'm going to go to 107. So playing with the metronome is helping me to lock in and keep the, the, the pulse there, you know, because you can play the right notes, but if the feel and the rhythm isn't right, it's just going to sound weird. Now I'm not saying, okay, play all the wrong notes and have the rhythm correct. Like they both work hand in hand. But you want to make sure that at least you're playing the right notes at the right time and with the right feel. So playing with a metronome will help tighten up your playing and it'll help keep you accountable. Because again, the metronome is always going to be honest with you. It's always going to tell you the truth and it's not going to hold back its feelings. It's not going to, it's not going to spare your feelings either. So playing with the metronome is a tip that you should carry on from 2019 onward. So the next tip is to keep a practice journal. Now, you can go to Barnes & Noble and get a nice journal with a hard cover and some nice designs on it, or you can go to Walmart, get yourself a marble notebook, or go to a music store like Sam Ash and get a manuscript book. The key thing is just to keep track of what you're doing. So, you can write down you know, the music that you want to work on, um, you want to mark your progress in terms of uh, pieces that you want to learn, or you know scales or technique or anything like that but you just have that notebook so you can at least keep track of what you're doing so the next tip that i have is to have manageable yet challenging goals now this tip ties in with the last one that i mentioned in keeping a practice journal so you want to have goals that are manageable you know but you want to make sure that they're challenging too 
you don't want manage you don't want manageable goals where it's super easy and you can just you know he's not challenging you but at the same time you don't want to have goals that are too challenging where you end up being defeated and you don't want to try and you, you want to give up so you want to make sure that it's manageable but it's challenging so the key thing with doing this is to do things in bite-sized manageable chunks so i remember when i was taking lessons as a kid where my teacher would have a a piece that i would need to learn for a recital so she knew that i wasn't going to try and it wouldn't make sense to work on a piece and try and get it in an hour like i'm going to play a five minute piece and learn it in an hour i mean it can be done but there has to be a level of balance and and some common sense too i'm a kid at the time so what she would do is she would say for the first week i need you to work on the first eight bars of this piece so let's say it's the uh uh a bach invention a two-part invention so i need to learn this right so i had to learn that and get that for the first week for example say right so then once i get that i had to learn the other part so and I would have to keep adding on piece by piece by piece. Now, it's manageable, but it's challenging because I have to take it in bite-sized pieces, but I have to work on it slowly enough so that I can get it. And it's something that's unfamiliar to me at the time. So having a manageable yet challenging goal will help to accelerate whatever you're doing and doing it slowly at that again these goals they're all important they're all intertwined so the final tip that i have is to play along with other musicians or play along with with music that you like so sometimes there are musicians that are in your area you can get together and just jam and just create and have fun sometimes you might not have musicians to play along with so one thing you can do is you can just play along with records. So sometimes I would just play along with albums that I wanted to learn, songs I wanted to learn. Um, if I wanted to get a specific style, I would listen to that and then just try and mimic it. And mimic it, you know, just just go for it. Make my mistakes and just, just go for it. Just do it, you know. And in doing that, I noticed that I started to pick up on things little by little. And... I'm doing this with music that I like and music that I have to develop and acquire taste for. So when I'm doing that, I'm getting out of my comfort zone little by little, but I'm also learning and I'm adding to, you know, whatever I have musically. So playing along with other musicians and playing along with, you know, with MP3s, records, eight tracks, whatever you have, playing along with that, that will also help out your musicality as well. If you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to thank you for making it to the end of this video. I really appreciate your support. And if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button and press on that bell so you know when a new video comes out. Um, 2019, Happy New, Happy New Year. It's gonna be a great year. If you just use these tips and don't forget that you're not just doing this just to get better, but you're doing it just for the love. That's the most important thing, is doing it for the love. That's what's going to help fuel all these tips. And if you have any tips that you want to share in accelerating musicality in 2019, please feel free to type something in the comment section below and share it because I want to learn from you as well. And there are other people that want to learn, you know, this is just a wonderful community we, where we could share. So type something in the comments. 2019 is going to be a great year and I'm really looking forward to sharing a lot more with you all. And I'm looking forward to you sharing with me as well. Have a great day and happy practicing.